everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! Manchester United 1, Leicester City 2, Manchester United dropping 3 points losing our first game in the last 15 games. Of course, dropping these three points, meaning that our noisy neighbor Manchester shitty are now crowned Premier League champions. And gah, oh, I hate the fact that it had to be us. Why? Why couldn't just Man City win it on their win? Like, why does it have to be on our merit? Which, and our failing especially, guys. Which actually pisses me off that those noisy neighbours in the Champions League and now are winning the Premier League. Man, you men are full of shit, you plastic fans. You know, always made out of money and all that kind of stuff. All you do is wipe your ass with bloody money as well, you get me? I just, you just made me sick, man. Oh, but guys, Manchester United dropping three points. Manchester United making changes as well, guys, which I thought 10 was a bit too much because I thought that let's just keep the points distance between Manchester United and Manchester City respectable, you know, like five or four points at the end of the season. But no, Oli decided to go with a team, of course, making 10 changes, giving a couple of teenagers a time out, you know. Men like Ahmed and also Anthony Alenga starting as well getting a start, Brandon William as well playing, of course, with that you think that, oh, all those changes we might get packed in by Leicester, but of course we didn't, but as well, it was a game where Manchester United as well wasn't having too much of the possession, they didn't really have the ball too tough, it wasn't the best in the second half in terms of the performance, at times we did look good when we had the ball, but there was many times I saw the Manchester United without the ball not doing too much. Big ups to players like Mason Greenwood, Scoring a wonderful goal and also Ahmed impressing a little bit, but you can kind of tell that he, they're not ready. And Jane Lenga as well, you can tell that they're not really ready for this type of level of football. You know, we spent 40 M's still, you know, but it's good to see Ahmed Diallo actually get a game, you know, to start as well, just to see him on the pitch because you can see how good he is. You can see the talent he has, but yeah, you can also see that he's still not ready for first team football. At Premier League level guys let's go straight into the game because of course Leicester starting off scoring 1-0 with a good goal by Luke Thomas I know I know I know you're probably thinking what the heck what the fuck is wrong with our defense sometimes of course we made changes in the defense and you thought as well they won't be as strong as a unit together you know and well drilled but again 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 I thought we could have done better in terms of defending that goal as well. Leaving Luke Thomas free as well to volley it in against David De Gea. Poor, poor defending by the guys. Mason Gunman Greenwood, 12th goal of the season, guys. Mason playing terrifically well. I'm so pleased with my boy Gunman Greenwood, bruv. Just out here, pew, pew, pew. Sniping left foot, right foot. Pew, pew, pew. Straight up, like, sniper, shooter, top gun shooter. You set him up. You know, in fact, it was him that killed John F. Kennedy, fam. I know he wasn't alive, but this guy is a top gun shooter. Accuracy is immense. Casper Schmeichel's had no chance. No chance. And it was perfectly placed. And you know what? The step over turn on Sharon Shu. Oh, Van Persie S, guys. Guys, this guy is Van Persie in disguise, you know. Guys, if you wear glasses, I know it happens to you sometimes. You are out there looking at Robin Van Persie and you're looking at Mason Green and you're thinking, is, are you sure that's not Robin Van Persie when you can't need? Like, is there, is there a sign wrong with my eyes? It, I swear to God, it gets like that, guys. It really does. Half time, 1 1, Manchester United looking like they might be doing something in the second half as well, especially with the way the first half ended. I thought, Greenwood as well, Ahmed breaking as well down the line. The counter attacks was looking good, but nevertheless, it was what it was. Second half, Leicester doing their thing, scoring a goal, Sharon shoot. Bloody Lord Farquhar, looking like you get me from Shrek. I swear to God, he looks just like that, Lord Farquhar, whatever his name is, bruv. 
He looks exactly like him. But yes, him with his big fat head scoring a header. Of course, with Manchester United conceding. What can we do about that? There's nothing we can do about it because, of course, it was a good, very good set piece. And, and Shoranshu was there to head the ball in. Which meant that after that, Manchester United couldn't do F all of the ball as usual. Back to not being able to pass FC. Don't know what we're doing with the ball FC. You know, just pressing and getting nothing for it. You get me? But guys, full time Manchester United losing. Manchester City crowned champions i can't even say it guys right you know it i'm tired of this i want Manchester united to win some trophies guys i'm tired of saying man shitty chelsea man shitty liverpool winning this league bro it's about time we start doing something and next season it cannot be like this we need to challenge we need to challenge you know there's no time right now i'm tired it's been so long fc bro it's been nine seven eight Nine years! Oh, and I've been paying Sky Sports premium money, you know. And we ain't one shit! Good thing I cancelled my Sky Sports, guys. Cancel your Sky Sports, it's not worth it. Man of the match today, guys, got to be Mason Gunman Greenwood. I thought today of that goal, just only that. And sometimes when I saw him on a break, very good as well. But decision making can still improve in terms of passing it to the right person. He was my man of the match today. Donkey of the match, guys, got to go to Brandon Williams. Fuck all today. Fuck all. Absolutely fuck all. Manchester Alex, Liverpool next. Those dirty scousers, you get me? We got them on Thursday. You know, we get one day rest, you know. But it's good for us fans. But with, with 10 players resting today as well, 10 changes, it should be good. You know that we might go for Liverpool and beat them as well. Because of Oli resting key players. But yeah, Manchester United fans, enjoy it. Guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice. You get me, guys? Don't forget to follow the socials, of course. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV. And also remember to follow my personal Instagram account which is Ivorian underscore spice also across the Twitter and also the snapchat Last but not least guys remember to subscribe smash that like button remember to share because why sharing Ivorian spice is caring guys and my ladies <sighs> My ladies as always as you watch me to the ends because you men at some points fall off like Manchester United in the semi-finals, you know, can't get semis out here. Remember to share to your ex-boyfriend. Remember to share the link to your current boyfriend as well. Remember to share the link to the pussy old guy that keeps buying you lunch. Anytime you say you're hungry and he's hoping that he'll get some, but he never's gonna get it, you get me? Remember to share the link to that pum pum right there. And also remember to share the link to the guy that's been trying to move to you at the bus stop, but you tell him that you've got a man, and he reacts and said that you're buyers anyway. Remember to share the link to the guy that I've been trying to move to you at the train station, you know, the tube station when you're going to work. And he's out here telling you that, but we can be friends though, but we can be friends though. Remember to share to the guy that in the chicken shop that's been, you know, trying to bust you chicken wings and been asking you for your number. But you know what? You gave him your Snapchat and he was satisfied with that. Remember to share the link to your pastor that's been trying to move to you slyly and also been invite, trying to invite you to inappropriate prayer meetings, just him and you one on one. And you've been telling him, no pastor, I th it's wrong. Ah, calm down, just relax, just relax. It's just prayer now, it's just prayer now. Just come, me and you. Simple as. Remember to share to your dad's friends that's been saying, my oh my, you have gone. And when you share that link and they say, what is this? Tell them that you found a man that can do it way better than you. And that's Alvaro Inspires. Guys, remember to keep it united, of course. And also remember to keep it red united. Peace out. Boom.